we're on our CB370Z. We're gonna run offshore, do some running and gunning for dolphin. Yeah, buddy. Really an awesome tactic. A lot of different ways to catch dolphin. Certainly you control, you can kite fish for dolphin, but running and gunning can be really exciting. You know, you're gonna run offshore, you're gonna look for debris, birds, color changes, anything that says fish here. You know, when we set up, when we find an area that looks fishy, some rips, scattered weed, birds picking off the surface, whatever those signs are that say, hey, you know, try here. First thing we do, we start chunking, get a nice steady slick going, and that could be really chopped up anything. You know, we've got a cooler full, a frigid rigid full of chopped sardines, nice and oily. You know, it's a great bait. There's some bonita mixed in with that, some squid mixed in goggle eyes chopped up in there. So we'll get that slick going and then we'll set out a couple of long squid, a couple of flat lines with some whole squid. And we'll just get those out there. And then we'll also take another rod with a jig and drop it down deep. And you don't even need to work it. I mean, just leave it in the rod holder and just the motion of the boat will keep that jig moving. Something colorful, dolphin-like color. And then of course, we've got some lighter rods with some artificial lures, poppers, tsunami swim baits. All kinds of good stuff. Bucktails, a little buccaneer bucktail. I mean, these are staples when it comes to throwing artificials at dolphin. And the nice thing about running and gunning, it's really sight fishing is what it boils down to, you know? Nine out of 10 times, those fish are gonna come right up to the boat. They're gonna come right up to the source of that chunk slick to see where it's coming from. And really, you can, you can determine what size tackle you wanna use based on the size fish that you see. For the most part, we all know dolphin are schooling fish and they tend to hang out and congregate in the same size. You know, you'll have fish in that schooly little two to five pound range, the little peanuts, and then you'll have those five to 10 pounders and of course some bigger fish. But generally you can see the fish that you're throwing baits at so you can select that perfect tackle to really maximize the sporting quality and really enjoy it. I mean, it's sight fishing, it's offshore sight fishing. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> the little guy ate my squid. That's what running and gunning is. When you get on them, you gotta make the most of it. Oh, oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> he almost jumped in the boat! Yeah. Look at that! That's sick! Look at that! <laughs>